All right, this is Rust-Oleum Flexi-Dip Rubberized Paint. I read about this in a magazine and I want to test it out and see if it really does what it says. So you can see right here, removable rubber coating, it says. So what that means is you can paint your car with it. Like if you want to put racing stripes or whatnot on your car, you can paint it. And then when you, if you don't like it, you can peel it off. So I'm going to just uh, spray paint my car with it and then see if I ruin it or if I can actually peel it off. So. All right, let's try it out on this unsuspecting van. I don't know, I think person might want to use masking tape. All right, let's take a close up look here at some of the overspray area. So it's rubbery paint, so if you kind of rub on it, hopefully you can see that, it actually is coming off. I think though it was designed for you to mask it off and put it on thick so you could peel it off. But you can see here, I've cleared out a spot so it's not going to be super easy for me to take off all this overspray. That was probably dumb. But if you mask your vehicle off and just put it on thick, then I bet you can just peel it right up. Alright, we're going to try one more spot here and put it on kind of thick with a few coats. And hopefully not overspray too much. Alright, so it says on the can to clean it up use xylol or naphtha. I don't know what either one of those things are. They sound like uh, recreational drugs from Eastern Europe. Like maybe crystal meth mixed with cough syrup, mixed with gasoline, mixed with laundry detergent. But um, if you don't have xylol or naphtha, you can see the scouring pad's doing a pretty good job on it. Removing all traces. I think the goal, or not the goal, but the, the smart thing to do would be to, to mask it, paint it on real thick, and then it should just peel off in one big chunk. The problem with this is that it's all too thin, so if you try to peel it, it just breaks. Alright, sure enough, if you paint it on thick, then it forms into a sheet, and it comes off like color forms. A la, boom, look at that. So that was how you're supposed to do it. Mask it, and paint it on there real thick. Give it at least three coats. And then you have rubber stuck to your car until you're ready to peel it off. That is pretty brilliant. So there you go. I always do it wrong before I do it right. I'm scrubbing and scrubbing and scrubbing to get the F off the car. Get the F out. And the R will be off in a minute when I'm done scrubbing it. That's easy. All right. Success. You can also use this to paint on you know, tools if you want to put rubber on your handles of your pliers or other things. It's a, it's a rubber coating that you can use. Now it does say on the can that if you're going to remove it, you better do it within three months and it's more difficult after three months. So you'll need to get some of those chemicals to get it off. So if it's really going to be temporary, don't leave it on for a year out in the sun.